A circular orbit is the orbit with a fixed distance around the barycenter, that is, in the shape of a circle. Below we consider a circular orbit in astrodynamics or celestial mechanics under standard assumptions. Here the centripetal force is the gravitational force, and the axis mentioned above is the line through the center of the central mass perpendicular to the plane of motion. In this case, not only the distance, but also the speed, angular speed, potential and kinetic energy are constant. There is no periapsis or apopsis. This orbit has no radial version. Topic: Circular acceleration. Transverse acceleration, perpendicular to velocity, causes change in direction. If it is constant in magnitude and changing in direction with the velocity, we get a circular motion. For this centripetal acceleration, we have a equals v two r equals omega 2 r display style equals frac v caret 2 r equals omega caret 2 r where v display style v is orbital velocity of orbiting body r display style r is radius of the circle omega display style omega is angular speed measured in radians per unit time the formula is dimensionless describing a ratio true for all units of measure applied uniformly across the formula if the numerical value of a display style math bfa is measured in meters per second per second then the numerical values for v display style v will be in meters per second r display style r in meters and omega display style omega in radians per second topic velocity the relative velocity is constant v equals g m r equals mu r display style v equals sqrt gm over r equals sqrt mu over r where g display style g is the gravitational constant m display style m is the mass of both orbiting bodies m 1 plus m 2 display style m underscore 1 plus m underscore 2 although in common practice if the greater mass is significantly larger the lesser mass is often neglected with minimal change in the result mu equals g m display style mu equals gm is the standard gravitational parameter topic equation of motion the orbit equation in polar coordinates which in general gives r in terms of theta reduces to r equals h 2 mu display style r equals h caret 2 over mu where h equals r v display style h equals r v 
is specific angular momentum of the orbiting body. This is because mu equals r v two display style mu equals r v caret two topic angular speed and orbital period omega two r three equals mu display style omega caret 2 r caret 3 equals mu hence the orbital period t display style t can be computed as t equals 2 pi r 3 mu display style t equals 2 pi sqrt r caret 3 over mu compare two proportional quantities the free fall time time to fall to a point mass from rest t f f equals pi 2 2 r 3 mu display style t underscore ff equals frac pi 2 sqrt 2 sqrt r caret 3 over mu 17 7 percent of the orbital period in a circular orbit and the time to fall to a point mass in a radial parabolic orbit t p a r equals 2 3 r 3 mu display style t underscore pa equals frac sqrt 2 3 sqrt r caret 3 over mu 7.5% of the orbital period in a circular orbit the fact that the formulas only differ by a constant factor is a priori clear from dimensional analysis. <inaudible> <inaudible> Energy The specific orbital energy E display style epsilon is negative and e equals minus v two two display style epsilon equals v caret two over two e equals minus mu two r Display style epsilon equals mu over two r. Thus, the Virial theorem applies even without taking a time average. The kinetic energy of the system is equal to the absolute value of the total energy. The potential energy of the system is equal to twice the total energy. The escape velocity from any distance is square root two times the speed in a circular orbit at that distance. The kinetic energy is twice as much, hence the total energy is zero. Topic <laughs> delta v to reach a circular orbit. Maneuvering into a large circular orbit, e.g. a geostationary orbit, requires a larger delta v than an escape orbit, although the latter implies getting arbitrarily far away and having more energy than needed for the orbital speed of the circular orbit. It is also a matter of maneuvering into the orbit. See also Hohmann transfer orbit. Topic: Orbital velocity in general relativity. In Schwarzschild metric, the orbital velocity for a circular orbit with radius r, display style r, 
is given by the following formula V equals G M R minus R S Display style V equals SQRT frac GM RR underscore S where R S equals two G M C two Display style script style R underscore S equals frac two GM C carrot two is the Schwarzschild radius of the central body. Derivation For the sake of convenience, the derivation will be written in units in which C equals G equals 1 Display style script style c equals g equals one. The four velocity of a body on a circular orbit is given by u mu equals t zero zero phi. Display style u caret mu equals dot t zero zero dot phi. R display style script style R is constant on a circular orbit, and the coordinates can be chosen so that theta equals pi two display style script style theta equals frac pi two. The dot above a variable denotes derivation with respect to proper time. Tau display style script style tau for a massive particle the components of the four velocity satisfy the following equation 1 minus 2 m r t 2 minus r 2 Phi two equals one display style left one frac two m r right dot t carrot two r carrot two dot phi carrot two equals one. We use the geodesic equation x mu plus gamma nu sigma mu x new x sigma equals 0 display style d d o t x caret mu plus gamma underscore new sigma caret mu dot x caret new dot x caret sigma equals 0 the only non-trivial equation is the one for mu equals r display style script style mu equals r it gives m r 2 1 minus 2 m r t Two minus R one minus two M R Phi two equals zero Display style frac m r carrot two left one frac two m r right dot t carrot two r left one frac two m r right dot phi carrot two equals zero. From this, we get phi two 
equals m r 3 t 2 display style dot phi caret 2 equals frac m r caret 3 dot t caret 2 substituting this into the equation for a massive particle gives 1 minus 2 m r t 2 minus m r t 2 equals 1 display style left 1 frac 2 m r right dot t caret 2 frac m r dot t caret 2 equals 1 hence t 2 equals r r minus 3 m display style dot t caret 2 equals frac r r 3 m assume we have an observer at radius r display style script style r who is not moving with respect to the central body, that is, his four velocity is proportional to the vector t. Display style script style partial underscore t. The normalization condition implies that it is equal to v mu equals r r minus. 2 m 0 0 0 display style v caret mu equals left sqrt frac r r 2 m 0 0 0 right the dot product of the four velocities of the observer and the orbiting body equals the gamma factor for the orbiting body relative to the observer hence gamma equals g mu nu u mu v nu equals 1 minus 2 m r r r minus 3 m r r minus 2 m equals r minus 2 m r minus 3 m Display style gamma equals g underscore mu new u carrot mu v carrot new equals left one frac two m r right sqrt frac r r three m sqrt frac r r two m equals sqrt frac r two m r three m. This gives the velocity v equals m r minus 2 m display style v equals sqrt frac m r 2 m or in si units v equals g m r minus r s display style v equals sqrt frac gm rr underscore s topic see also elliptic orbit list of orbits two body problem